All right, this is Grace Good 23. Sad Slick 83. Let me just close these. And. That monster upstairs is running me ragged. There we go. Monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. <laughs> and he goes. And because you're an asshole. Close the door. And. Right while you select, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> And there we go. White boy, white boy. There we go. Hello out there. Yep, he is very claustrophobic, by the way. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. Yeah. I'm actually very claustrophobic, so if somebody, uh, see vous play, <laughs> see vous play, oh, let me out of here. <laughs> Wait for it. And conk. KO! You got it. Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? Ah, uh, he's not gonna wait. That does it. Nobody there? And he's just gonna drink that whole fucking thing. Oh no. Uh <coughs> fucking chalky man. Chug. Chalky, chug. <laughs> Fruity, but voluminous. Yep, there we go. And now I come back in. It's and... amazing. It's amazing. He was able to just walk away. That's yep. cheap wine. That's cheap wine. Plus, either that or he has a very high tolerance. Oh, well, he is a very big guy. And has uh, it is wouldn't work there. adrenaline is like just off the fucking radar. Let me just open this up. Cat. And in I go. Whee! Now, Gloss is going to come back. Somebody's sleeping on the job. Back he goes. He's going to get some more wine. He's going to try to, yeah, but th there's nothing in there. It's empty. What's that? I thought he finished it. Ruben! Ryu! By the way, it's still Ryu, but he called him Ruben. Yes. Oh, mon dieu. Hey, <laughs> hey, vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. And... Yes, anything you say. Hey, Joe, no wine. Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Fuck even, him. Even in death, even in death, he's scared. Yep, and there he goes. Off. He, g that guy's gonna take the new keg. And bring, and bring the whole keg down here. And that's where I am. I'm now where I need to be. Ah, fantastic. I need to get here. It's like, can anybody here actually say that they would do the same thing if in this scenario? Uh, yeah, probably not. No, I'm wondering, like, they'll probably beat the shit out of that guy right there, if not shoot him, and then just open it, just open it to themselves. There we go. I need to get in with this. Sounds like something I would do. This is why I couldn't have such a delicate job. Yeah. I need to turn this around real quick, just as a, just to be safe. Yeah. I would. Well, I need it to be completely turned around to do what I need to do. You mean get to that button over there? No, because basically where I need to go is in the middle, and I can't really get there. Well, also that you wouldn't get out on the other side as well, so. And plus, I don't know if you can walk around that thing or not. Oh, oh come on. For someone to have one job, he's, Boom. he's able to do many things. He, oh, that's right. He's no longer part of the agency. Nope. And, by the way, that's where I need to go. It's in between the, the wine cellar and upstairs. Wait, wait. He's not part of the agency. If he's not part of the agency, why does he still do what he does? Uh, because that's her. he sees her as his one ticket out of there. Now, 
to get his winnings. Let's take a look at what he has. Dios mio, it's full of double end tickets. There's yeah, that's a way. To, that's basically tickets to get to the number nine. About this, I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. Yeah, it does. And out I go. Uh, and so basically, he's uh, give thanks to their their uh, fr it, frying tickets. Pretty much. Ticket and frying. look what he has. Give me the case, Charles. I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. Yeah. Matter, Chuck. Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you. I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Yep, here you go. There's your ticket. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Bye-bye. We'll see him in Chapter 4 again. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> anyway, now I got all the things I need to get out, to get on out of here. But the tickets? Yep, he stole them. I, I, there's nothing I can do about those tickets. But yeah, I'll see. Plus, plus I found it kind of weird that he, I know it's the story, but I'm like, you would think he would just come in, it's like, oh, I'm just going to turn him into grass, pow, and then take the damn thing. But you Well, know. apparently there's honor among thieves, at least a little bit. But now I got all three things. I got the tools I need. I have, I have the tools. I got the, the, uh, fuck. Got your liquor. Well, I got my liquor, but yeah, I need. To, I got my ability to get into the union, and I got a spot for me to get into that um, into that sh ship. So all I have to do is get Gladys out of the fucking out of that fucking um, casino. And the only way to do that is to get rid of his credit. And the only way to do that is to make the cop raid me. And the only way to do that is to literally stop cheating, allowing him to cheat in my club. Huh. And. Then the chapter's done, and then we're on to chapter three. Oh, goody. Yeah. We're almost, we're practically halfway there. Isn't that great? Yeah. Right on. How many chapters again? Four. Just to make sure. Going upstairs. Back upstairs to this thing. That allows him to cheat. I forgot this is Manny's club, right? Yes, it is. Wow. Take notes, folks. Le numéro gagnant, le 33, noir, entre les pas. 33, black. Okay. I messed up. Hold on. Messed up, Skoda. I'm trying to get him to to quit. Twenty black. What the fuck? Not this shit again. There we go. And he lost. Fourteen is the winner. Look at those. Numero And now the cop is pissed, and he's gonna raid the place because he now lost money. Mm. And he thinks I'm getting too big for my britches. Oh. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Thirteen is the winning number. Better luck next time. Uh, oh. That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But so Damn. Got yeah, law and order, huh? You corrupt cop. Hey, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Oh, wonder why. And there's Max, the guy who owns the club that uh, Gladys is at. Better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out in this big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back! Yeah, about that. And drunk. Stand for very inebriated pianist. Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. 
I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. Yep. And now off we go. Wow. Can it be nice if everybody hooked each other up like that with jobs? Yeah. Make it fast. <coughs> Bless me. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for the gig. And for not asking too many questions. Hell. After what happened to Naranja, I can see why you'd leave. Yeah, Naranja's not dead. He's gonna find out the minute we leave. He's just be like, Oh, that bastard. How did he... He goes up like, I thought he was over with you. He's like, yeah, man, he came out. He's like, oh, that bitch. <laughs> and now, one year later. One year later. He was a swabby. And at the end of the year, that ship is now his. Wow, everything man touches, he belongs. It, it just, he just takes over. Yeah, pretty much. A year later. Look at that. Of course, Gladys had some help. Jesus, man. That is a lot of blow horns. Wow, that's a damn ship goes. Oh, he got a new costume. Yep. That's his costume for the for this chapter. And of course he's smoking on a pipe. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down there. Uh, those are not customs. Don't let them in. Do not let them in. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. That wasn't a very funny joke, sir. Fuck you. Overboard. Get over there. Get out of the... Salvador? I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Well... And viva la revolucion! Well, too late. A little wrong. late. Ha! Ensign. Oh, damn. Yeah, they already killed everybody. Oh, no. I oh, mean, he turned everybody into plants. Yep. Wait, how do you kill... This can't be happening. Sprouts, remember the gun? He's back here! Sack him! And Gloss, of course, grabs me. And locks the door. Custom officials, open this door. Yeah, we want to check your bags. Oh, fuck you. We know what you want to do. Safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. About that. <laughs> His face. Like, oh shit, that's the O balls. I need that. And I need... Okay, there's a way to get out of here, and it involves me cutting this place in two. Oh, shit. Me cut the ship in two? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, back up a bit. Alrighty, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get used to this. There we go. There we go. Okay, now this is what. We're doing. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, get out. I meant to get out. Okay, get out, out, out. There we go. Drop this. It's uh, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. That's why I have a strat guide with me to make sure I don't do, I don't fuck up. That ear. <laughs> yeah. That ear is just. just... Someone's talking mad shit about him. Oh, shit. Back up a bit. Should be right under... What's going on? What are you doing? Hold on. I'm fucking up. Very. I know what I'm doing. Okay, hold on. Fucking camera angles. Ah! Mind you, during the duration of this entire genre, this game that we're playing, um, I have not touched the controller, so I am rarely irritated. So, yeah. Let's do this. That's fine. I can't reach. No, I want you to hit the fucking button. Hit this button. It's like, Manny, you don't feel fucking up. Well, alrighty. Now he's underneath it. Okay. Either way, the point is 
for now. Let's just do this. Son of a bitch. Manny, look at the fucking... There we go. Now, to go left. Or right. There we go. That should be the... That should take care of that. And... There we go. That's what I needed. Now, uh, come here, you bastard. Alrighty. We're gonna put you right about there. Well, there you go. Yep. By the way, this took forever for me to figure out when I was first playing this. Okay. Good. Gladys, cover your ears. Yep. Oh my god, that yeah. noise. Yep. And the damn TV is low, too. Yeah, oh, there we go. That? The dotted line, buddy. Ah. There we go. Bye, guys. They're like, well. Shit. So. Oh, that's fun, too. <laughs> oh, it was named after Lola. That's nice. And it's gonna sink. We're heading back to the P Pearl. Just a little farther, Gladys. Uh, yeah, about that. Fuel. Fuel eventually. Down below we go. See, I had to say when I said you go down with your ship. Yeah, we're underwater. We're at the bottom of the ocean. But they're not panicked. No. <laughs> Manny, choking. Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. And that's easy. We're going to do that next time. This is the Great Scoot 23. Shines Lake 83. And we're now on Chapter 3. His, 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 oh my god. He is, god damn, he really is the Reaper. Yeah. <laughs>